Hey guys, so in this video we will be learning how to add the or insert the data of radio button into database using PHP. Okay, so we will be inserting the value of the radio buttons like there are two radio buttons and that one is male and female. Okay, so we will be inserting that those values into the database. So let's get started. So before starting please subscribe my channel and uh, share my videos or channel to your friends so as normal thing we'll study that with title okay radio button <coughs> okay and so now mm, yeah we'll design our forms as soon as possible normal thing so we'll declare a heading for that in the center like h1 and declare so how to insert okay radio button value into data base using php mysql right so this is the thing now i have given the heading so after this heading is normal thing what do we do uh, I'll do it in, in a container. Okay. Okay. Let this be in a container. Design a form. So form is uh, form. Form action is ready. Method is equal to. So we are in sort of post. Inside this, then we'll declare the things. Okay. Label. So, label. We are creating the label in this. That will be username. Okay. One is username, and then we'll declare one input box. Okay. So, input box will get text name is equal to um, username, and uh, we'll give place holder is equal to enter your name okay it's done so let's copy this for our easy and better work okay copy let's change it as email id okay so here will be email id we are giving and we'll change this input type as email name also as email okay and now we will go and design the user that means radio button will design it okay so let's copy this and uh, i'll declare a radio button gender okay so i'll declare a gender that so it may be clear so please give a break line everywhere every input okay said uh, careful so it may look good okay just break the line and I uh, here now the radio button okay input type is equal to radio okay this is the way yeah. so we are going to create two radio buttons yeah. right so in this now input type and name is equal to gender this is my i have stored this gender as in database as same gender itself so let it be gender and uh, we'll give value that what it is to will give in capital letter m a l a mail okay so mail and yeah that's it uh, let's mention as mail okay this will be the value which will be printed front of your radio button so let's copy this one more copy enter and paste it so let's change it as female and female okay female it's done now we'll put one button okay submit 
and a value be insert so we'll remove this id and we'll give value <coughs> and value as uh insert the data whatever okay so according to your wish you can put insert data and yeah so the form is ready now so let's save it go back and refresh the page so the form is ready now so here uh, we want to design it okay so already in my previous video how to make a how to insert drop down list value in that i have explained very clearly in my previous video how to make a drop down list box value into database okay so you can go and check out so i have already uh, done this css copied that css okay so if you want to know how the designing is going on just go to my drop down list okay how to insert drop down list in that video you can see all the explanation about this so this is my inside the head tag i have declared this styles okay as simple so let's save it go and refresh the page okay, the design has been done so there is no classes in this text box so the text box is not designed so let's go back so for text i have given this txt so copy this txt go to your text boxes declare a class cliss class is to paste it txt okay so just copy this again and paste it over here okay Ooh. and uh, we have given here radio okay so yeah so it's done now this is select is not there so just remove it so this is our code okay this is a simple code for the style in this so this is my style okay and this is the button let's go refresh yeah it's ready so let's just break the line for this and uh, give a class to for this too okay give a break line as normal br br and give a class for this also class is equals to txt okay so it means save it go back refresh yeah it's done so let's check out the result i mean let's code it for the thing okay let's code start the php and end with php as normal starting with the connections is equals to my sql li connect of okay connect inside this we are declaring local host comma root A root means this is my username and i don't keep password so it's normal db is equals to so db is equal to my sql i select db of connection okay so this connection copy and paste it give comma inside the single quotes you have to press type your database name so my database name is youtube db okay so now for the process of this we have to give a button right so inside the button we have to give if statement if is set off dollar in the group post of what here inside single quotes we have to give the this this button name okay so this is the name insert so copy that and paste it over here okay give enter open the curly braces and start the coding so first we'll declare a variable that is username okay which stores the value of the text box into the database okay so uh, here username this is from input type text box okay so let's go and check out input type username is username copy this okay 
and paste it over here done okay same as normal for the second also that is second thing is image is equal to dollar underscore post of that is email so email colon so dollar next is gender okay as normal it is very simple so the way you understand is your thing but the very simple as just understand the logic okay so declaration has been done into the variable now we'll give the query okay query is equals to for insertion of data like simple code okay of mysql okay insert into your table database table so my database table name is um, employee list okay employee list open the bracket inside this we have to declare our the database name that is username okay i have already uh, wait i'll show you so this is my database see username email and gender that only we have to just type it over here username inside this email comma gender okay now it's done so let's set the values what values it will bring from the text box that is from the text box to this and this will go to store in this table that is from here okay so inside single quotes dollar username okay I'll just give comma copy this mm, yeah inside single quotes paste it give comma copy this gender to copy and give in a single quotes paste it over here and give that's all three fields right yeah and give enter and run this query query run is equal to mysqli underscore that's a mistake mysqli underscore query what here you have to declare here query the connection which is for the database okay so database is connected and now so what we are doing is that give comma and take that query and paste it over here so it will execute in the table yeah so the database connectivity is there done so now let's check out whether it is storing or not so for that we'll give an if condition okay so run this query okay and then give a if statement echo it into single quotes you have to declare a script s-c-r-i-p-t script okay so i will give the script type is equal to text forward slash java script okay as simple so i am using this for alert message okay so alert i am giving data saved okay or I mean else data not saved right so as simple so just copy this paste it and type data not saved yeah so it's done so let's check out the this thing and yeah it is correct so let's go and run this for the output go back just give enter yeah so let's enter the field as uh, mohan okay mohan at gmail.com so mohan is a mail we'll insert the data oh, i forgot to give at symbol okay so let's save mm, so the data has been saved so let's enter one more thing mahesh mahesh at gmail dot com so he is also a mail let's insert mm, yeah data is saved but it's not a popping up message one mm, 
the message is not popping let's go back why the message uh, oops there is mistake over in my code that is save it let's go refresh and let's enter uh, mina mina at gmail.com and mina is a female so let's insert yeah now the message is working data saved okay so let's go and check out the three things mm, refresh yeah see mohan is a male mahesh is a male and mina is a female so the data is storing right so we are doing on this particular thing that which is there okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel like the video and share the video